when Elijah was going to hear from God, God called him and told him to meet him. When he got to the meeting place, he saw fire. But God was not in the fire. He felt an earthquake. But God was not in the earthquake. Thunder all over the place. God was not in the thunder. Then he, after the thunder and the wind and all of that, he heard a still small voice. And that was the Lord. So it is a still small voice that is inside you. You know, like your, your heart best returns to what I'm saying. As I'm talking to you now, you know, it's like, hey, Charlie, this thing is true. Hmm. That is it, though. That is it. That is the confirmation. That is God talking to you. Yeah, First Kings chapter, chapter 19, verse 11. And he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. So if you are expecting a wind, a strong, thunder wind, earthquake, some, you'll be surprised that you will not, by the time you realize you are 75, and you have not done anything for the Lord, you have just been going to church. You have just been going to church. Wow. And after the earthquake, a fire. Fire all over the place. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. Still small voice. It's like it's nothing. It's not much. But that is God talking. That is God talking. Hmm? Yes. So God is talking to you this morning. You were a shepherd. Tell your neighbor, you were a shepherd. We are all shepherds. You were a shepherd. Hallelujah. Yes. Do you agree? So accept it. Yes, accept who you are. It's important you accept. One of the major things about your calling is that you must accept your calling. You must accept the fact that you are called. When you accept that this is what I have become, it changes a lot of things about you. It changes a lot of things about you. You have to accept that I am called. That is why I'm still talking to you. you see, I am called. This is it. This is what I've become. Every Christian is called. We are all servants of God. I told you that two days ago. We are all servants of God. All of us. Whether you are married, unmarried, student, banker, Everybody. 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 Everybody.